Hey everyone, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to have a detailed look of the Surface Pro 3 Pen as well as its special features. Let's get started. But before all that, let's compare the differences between the Wacom Pen and the Entrick Pen. On the left, we got the Wacom Pen from Surface Pro 2 and on the right, we got the Entrick Pen from Surface Pro 3. I also have a pen from the ThinkPad X230 tablet here for comparison. It also uses Wacom. So let's have a look at the Wacom. Um, the pens are pretty much identical. We got a tip for writing and left click. We have a button in the middle for right click as well as select. And then on the butt end of the pen, there is an eraser that's pretty much spring loaded. And that's about it. Both pens are made out of plastic as well. Over here for the Surface Pro 3, first of all, the body is made out of aluminum, and you also get two buttons on the side. The lower button is for erase function. The top button is for the right click as well as select. On the butt end here, we have a plastic part which houses a Bluetooth function. And if you click the purple button on the top, OneNote will launch on your Surface Pro 3. This is a really special feature and let's have a detailed look of it. So the first special thing about it is that with one click of the button, you can launch OneNote from virtually anywhere. So all you have to do is click the OneNote colored purple button and OneNote should start on your Surface. This works no matter where you are for example, when you're on desktop, you just click, OneNote launches. This function also works when you're on the start screen, as well as within any Metro apps. Works over the lock screen. As well as when your computer is actually in sleep state. Once you finish your note, you can click the purple button again, and the note will be sent over to your OneDrive. This is a real convenient feature, so basically you don't have to worry about anything as soon as you want to take notes, click your pen, and you're ready to go. Second special feature is that with the pen, you can actually send a screen clip to OneNote with a double click. For example, let's go into Internet Explorer. Over here we got the Surface Pen page open. And let's say I want to clip this pen. So I double click, screen dims, OneNote opens, and then I select whichever part I want to send to OneNote, and there you are. The picture is sent to OneNote and you can write whatever you want on it, comments, you know, anything. It's also a very cool feature. Next feature I want to talk about is the pen. You can actually use the pen to hit the start button on the bezel. This feature did not work with the Wacom enabled Surface Pro 2. So in order for Microsoft to pack all that power into this tiny pen, they actually had to fit three batteries in it. So for the front half of the pen in the metal body, for operating the two buttons and the tip, there is a quadruple A battery that you can get from unscrewing the cap. On the bottom portion, the plastic part, you have two button badges within that powers the Bluetooth module, which is used to click the purple button. You can get that battery out by unscrewing this little inner piece within the end cap, and the batteries can just fall out like so. The last cool feature I want to talk about is the tip. You can actually pull the tip out with just your fingernails. This is a very convenient feature and it's also good because the tip is soft compared to the Surface Pro 2 which this one may weigh out faster. Alright, that's it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Please comment, subscribe, and I'll post more videos about the Surface Pro 3 later on. Thank you for watching.